In this video, I want to address the question. These are some of the questions I get in strategy development. How often do you optimize your strategies? Do you adjust your parameters to be in tune with the market? Do you use walk forward out of sample optimization in your strategy development? Those sort of questions. In other words, was this developed on current data, past data? And I want to address this by showing you a strategy example. In general, uh, a lot of my uh, strategies are pattern based. A lot of them I've had for a long time and so there is some out of sample um, just based on survival of what strategies work the best. Uh, adjusting strategies for volatility on the exits is one of the biggest adjustments that has to be made. And so I want to show you the example. We're going to go over this particular strategy that you see right here. It's had two losers in a row. It has this sort of equity curve. It's called Robot. I made a video on uh, what is a trading robot, what is a trading system, and I'm going to show you that now. Here is the, the robot that we developed, tra automated trading system that we developed. And the rules are if the time is equal to 9.35 and the close is greater than the close of one bar ago. So this is on Eastern Standard Time. 9.35 is the end of the first trading bar. And if after five minutes of trading, the close is greater than the previous day's close, then you just buy it at the market. Um, so if condition one, then buy next bar at the market. Very, very simple entry strategy. If you find a pattern like this that works really well, there is really nothing to optimize. You could go down to one minute bars and say if time is equal to 931, or you could say date is not equal to the date of one and then test different intervals. So you could test the one minute, five minute, 15 minute. Um, you, could add, you could buy next bar at, the, at a stop based on the range of the first bar or on, buy it on a limit. Um, you could do lots of different things. This is extremely raw. It's extremely simple. It, um, you know, the only the only real thing you could optimize here is the exit time and the stop loss. And so, three hundred dollars is extremely tight stop loss for the Nasdaq futures. And to find anything that works uh, with that is is pretty incredible. So you're buying at the open of the bar using three hundred fifteen point stop loss. You're at a time of day when there can be a lot of price separation. Um, there's a lot of wiggle in the NASDAQ, but at certain times of day, uh, prices can make a definitive move right away, and you can get away with a tighter stop loss, as you see in this equity curve. Now, this is a very, uh, it's taking advantage of a very inefficient market uh, environment uh, by the Federal Reserve. Uh, money printing, I guess you could say, the straight up market we have. I would not, you know, if we go back further, we tested, we showed this in the robot video. It doesn't work as well in the past. The equity curve kind of flattens out and doesn't work in the past as well. And so I just mainly wanted to show you an example of a trading system where, you know, if you use patterns, and, and my strategies, they tend to use patterns. And so, and if I do use parameters, I will use general uh, parameters. Like a, I will test it. Maybe if I want to just confirm that the trend is up, I will say, Average close of 12 is greater than the average close of 24. And and then if that doesn't help it, then I'll probably just remove that indicator. I don't go around trying to optimize the indicator so that it will work. And so that's that's one of the ways I develop strategies. Uh, just very uh, pattern-based, very generic, uh, simple parameters. I don't, I don't like to run them through the optimization tool. I will manually test certain things. For example, in this situation, if I want to, if I'm happy with a strategy like this, I say, look, I just want to, I want to take this one trade per day. I want to risk 300. I realize that when I use a $300 stop loss on the Nasdaq futures, I want to have a low percentage of winners. I am cutting my losses and letting my winners run. Does it work? That's the type of strategy I want to use. 300, 400, 500 dollars stop losses is much. Maybe all I want to risk on this trade because I realize the nature of the trade. While other trades. You're going to have to risk more. You're going to have to risk $700, $1,000, $2,000 on other types of entries. And so if you look at this nice equity curve, and it has 17.59% of the trades are winners. The largest losing trade is $300. The, lar the largest losing trade is $300. The largest winning trade is $4,250. And so the average trade is $134.10. We didn't put slippage in commission. That is enough, though that um, you know you would recover from any sort of uh, slippage 134.10 and then $5,700 drawdown so 
this could be improved, uh, it could be optimized, it could be made straighter, and that is something that I don't like to do. I like to use general setups, and then I like to combine portfolios of trading systems with general setups that um, are not optimized. They're just raw. I like to put together raw strategies and um, trade something that's realistic. So that hopefully that will help answer some of these questions. Based on this, I don't just I don't just have a list of mathematical rules. I don't just say, look, I'm going to use the RSI, the ADX, and the stochastic, and I'm going to go through this mathematical process where I make sure that um, I can get this strategy to work based on the um, the indicators that I want to use. So, just sharing that with you, my develop basic development process for patterns in general trading system development. The last thing I would do want to say about this, though, is that even pattern-based strategies can stop work working. This strategy is extremely simple. Like I said, it doesn't work in previous years as well. There is more range and volatility for a strategy to work. There is more. Uh, there's been a lot of stimulus to drive this market higher. It's been more bullish than any previous historic bull market, so you can get those separation of prices. And so a strategy like this, if it stopped working, it wouldn't be because it is optimized. It would be it would stop working because uh, the market went down, mainly went down, or there was a lot of chop at the open. So it wouldn't be the same type of market environment. And so you, you have to focus on why your strategy works in relation to the market, if it's pattern-based, and if those patterns change, the patterns in the market change, then your strategy may stop working, not because it's optimized, but because that pattern is no longer there. So that's, that's the last thing I wanted to share with you on pattern-based trading systems and optimization. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.